Lights out. We're going to go green this time by track. As you saw, we did a lot of packing tonight. Track was real wet, so uh, we won't have the fastest heats, but we're going to have really great features. Victor Vargas quickly out front in the 24 here. Like I said, that's your 2018 track champion. He hadn't had a best year. He has yet to pick up a victory in 2019. He struggled a little bit in that 24. So uh, final night of points, final night of racing for the 2019 regular season. Let's see if we can get Victor Vargas in the victory lane here. He's well on his way for the heat race in that 24 car. Christian's making the pass there up to second. Oh, no. Going to get a little challenge. Going to get it done, though, in the 13. Groff in that 14T started last up to – he was in second, but now Christian's passed him up. He's back to third. You see a little smoke out of Christian's 13 car as he enters the turn there. I promise it ain't tire smoke, not on that track surface. Ten lap heats tonight, 20 lap features. Christian starting to reel in Vargas here. Another big puff of smoke as he gets down there off the gas, getting into turn number three. Here comes Christian's on the bottom. Vargas going to hold him off. Oh, they get together just a touch. Vargas way sideways down the straightaway there. Hangs on, holds on to the lead. Christian's right here with him. Here we go. Black man just showed him halfway. Five laps left here for Victor Vargas. Problems over in turn number three. It's like we're going to pull the caution on that one. We're going to go back to it right here. Victor Vargas trying to hold off Mike Christians here. Heat race number one of the evening. Here we go. Flag man waving the white flag. Here we coming up on one to go right here. It's like we will go one to go. Mike Christian got to get it done pretty quick. Nope, green flag. He ain't going to throw it yet. I think he's confused. Vargas kind of opening the gap here on Christian's. As he comes to take the white flag, one lap left. Victor Vargas. Looks like he's going to get it done in the 24. Your winner. Out of Bay City, Victor Vargas in the 24. Victor Vargas, good job. Hard to beat. Has been beat, but not on a regular basis. So here we go. Watch in number 11, Jared Forgey.
Yeah, as I speak, the three of Casey Smith. Going to drive down there and take the lead down the back straightaway. Smith way up high. 4G on the very bottom. Smith going to lead lap number one. Forgy gets it turned real early. Apex is a call way early. Gets a big run off of turn number two. Trying to take the lead here. He knows he's got to get out of that gas. The cars are going to slide up the track. Here comes Forgy in the 11 to try to take the lead down the front straightaway. And he gets it done. No. According to the transponder, the 3 T still your leader. Scoreboard never lies. Except for when it's wrong. Just saying. Ford G once again, he gets the car to Apex early, gets a big run off of two. Not good enough this time. You're gonna get the halfway this time by. Here comes the 11. No, sir. Here we go again. The 11's going to pass him down the back straight away. Let's see if he can make it stick. Coming into three and four, though. This time he skates it up right in front of the 3T. And he's going to lead this lap. Jared Forgey in the 11. We got problems here. One in the infield. The 64 car when working that agricultural line. That never works down there in the grass. There you go. Pit on the right. lap left here he comes two turns left for Jared Forgey in the 11 And they're off. Josh Sewell out front. Trident Temple second. Nathan Oaks back to third. But check out GW Hassan in the four, 747. I told y'all he's been fast. Here he comes. Hassan going after Temple here for second down the back straightaway in the 747. Gets it done. GWS on to second. Josh Sewell, though, in that 38 out front.
Keep an eye on that 747. You're reeling them in here. Temple solid in third. Oaks trying to get him right there in fourth. And Burnett, who's been real fast in that 23, he's not really making much moves here. So, Caitlin Leonard picked up a couple spots in that 9C. Here comes the saw side by side as they exit two. Little loose off. Gonna allow Sewell to pull out. Here we go, folks. Keep an eye on your leaders as we come to halfway right here. Halfway this time by Josh Hill, GW his song. Sewell's car just a little tight. Apex off of number two. You can see his wheels are turned, but the car just keeps headed for the wall. Car's just a little tight. His song's car just a little loose, so a little, you'd prefer a little loose car. Loose is fast, typically. Here comes the song again to try him on the bottom. Looks like he's going to get it done. GW, the song, and a 747 to the point. Caitlin Leonard making some big moves up to third here. Keeping all that nice C in third. Excuse me, fourth, fourth. I forgot Triton Temple's right there as Joshua trying the bottom, not going to get it done. His song continues to lead in the 747. Caitlin Leonard up to fourth. Started dead last. Great job by the young lady in the 9C. Two to go, two to go, GW Hassan. Hassan's car way loose off, allowing Sewell to close in and get right on his bumper. Now Sewell working the very bottom, Hassan letting it just slide way out to the wall here. The white flag for the 747, one lap to go. It got tight there, coming off a of turn two. The song way loose, here they come, side by side down the front straightaway. The 38 picks up the win, Joshua out of Kingsville, your winner in the 38. Clipping him right there at the line. Green flag, let's go Lynn Fox, Johnny Westfall. Westfall quickly out front in the nine. Lynn Fox in two. Here we go. Shuck away up. Look out. Wall. Right, hangs on to it. Loses a couple spots, though. Jesse Sandoval in the seven. Moving up into third here. Westfall been struggling a little bit of late. He's got that thing wound up and rolling tonight, though. The nine on a rail here, well out front. Fox has a couple of contenders right behind him. He needs to get on the ball. Remember, he's your points leader. Got to try to win a championship tonight. Cardine on the bottom. Sandoval on the outside. Luis Cardine in the 8C up to third. Problems for the seven. We saw Sparks as he drove down into turn number one. Now he's in the infield. Jesse Sandoval with problems. Halfway, halfway, Johnny Westfall.
Cardine trying the bottom under Fox. Not going to get it done that time. Like I said, only one point separates Lynn Fox and Triton Temple for a track championship. Two to go, Johnny Wetzel, two to go. Lynn Fox, Luis Cardin here. That has big implications how they finish. Cardin takes the spot. The 8C up to second with one lap left. Not what Lynn Fox needed to do. Your winner in the nine, Johnny Westfall. Just saying. Won't be entertaining if you're on the racetrack, but here we go. Try this again. Michael Pesek, Tony Blankenship, Nathan Rahi. Pesek out front into 174. Rahi working on the outside in that 25. Blankenship skates up. Car won't turn real well. Just everybody's a little tight tonight in this heavy track through him for a loop. Pesic continues to lead. Rahi second. Tony Blankenship working on third here, trying to get around Rahi to get up there. Rahi Blankenship side by side down the front straight away. Here comes Nathan Rahi to the outside. Going to take the lead in the 25 and halfway. The leader in the 25, Nathan Rahi. Jody Johnson on the bottom. Jamie Deere going to take the spot filing from Shannon Mowers. They're racing hard for that spot. Mickey Helms currently holds fourth. The fifth spot, though, highly contested between Jamie Deere, Shannon Mowers, and Steve Grants here. Rahi starting to run away with it. Two to go, two to go in the 25. Nathan Rahi out of Corpus Christi. Blankenship trying to a hit for second. The 35 going to get it done down the back straightaway. Tony Blankenship up to second. 
I missed what happened between Jamie Deere, Shannon Maurer, and Steve Grants, but all of a sudden Steve Grants is in fifth. Maurer sixth, Jamie Deere back to seventh here. I missed that one. We're watching our leaders. White flag, one lap left. Your winner out of Corpus Christi, Nathan Rahi in the 25R. Here we go. Foster Ellison out front. Rory Jordan quickly to second, and that's 7X. Jeremy Petty third. Ellison still leads, Roy Jordan right there in second. The battles for fourth here, Jeremy Davenport kind of parking it down there, Rick Green trying to do all he can. The youngster in a BD1 having no look. They're mopping in that BD1 with some big moves on the outside, trying to take away, getting to the top five here. He managed to get by Don Banker, and then he got around Rick Green. Now he's going after Jeremy Davenport, put himself up into fourth, and Davenport skates up into him there. Like I said, first race out in that BD1. Here he comes, up to fourth. Foster Ellison, no story leader. Green was challenging the BD1 just a second there. I started to skate up into him, had to lift, and lost some ground. Here comes the BD1 on the outside of Jeremy Petty for third. We got a race for third here. Rick Green's right in the mix. Moffin has to know he's got to go. White flag. He drops to the bottom to try. No, the cart's going to skate up. Not going to go. Going to lose ground to Petty here. Your winner, though, Foster Ellison out of Lake Jackson in the 96. All right, here we go. Johnny Torres on the pole. Jennings on the outside. Oh, Torres and Jennings get together. They go around. Look out. Oh, no. Oh, that's your point leader caught up in the middle of that. Lights out. Oh, it stays out. Never mind. I keep saying that because I'm not used to it. Here we go.
Messick with a good run down the front straight away to take the lead in the 22P. Michael Pesek, your leader. Earhart and Schmidt having a good battle back there for third and fourth. Ooh, oh, Travis Schmidt, your fourth in points. Gets nailed by Earhart. Mike Riley up to fourth in the 14. Pesek well out on Torres here. The 22P out front. Halfway, Michael Pesek, halfway. Oh, the battle for third here. Earhart in the truck, Riley in the 14. Oh, gets down in the mud and the truck drives away from him. Earhart's car, truck way too tight as it's pushing up to the wall, but he holds on to third place. Doing a great job, managing to keep it rolling here. Just two laps to go for Michael Pesek. One lap left for the 22P. Their heart skates up. Mike Riley in a 14 to third. Your winner, though, the 22P out of Victoria, Michael Pesic. I believe in the 99. I'll check that for you. Here we go. Oaks out front. Here comes Bowen. Not this time. Edward Oaks in the 99 is going to lead lap number one. Both using that 11T, giving uh, Bowen a little run for the money down the back straightaway here, keeping an eye on that 11T, Tom Grothews. I'll announce it that way. Oaks out front. How about Tom Grothews in the 11? Grothews skates up. Here comes Brock Bowen to the bottom. Oh, hard into the wall. The 11 T. Going to lose a couple spots there. Alan Torres now 
Gonna make the pass on the 11 as well. Edward Oaks driving away from him. Here comes Torres to challenge Bowen for second. Keep an eye on the 94 here. It drops down off the exit that 94, taking over second. Alan Torres. No, Bowen drives back around him on the outside. Here comes Torres again in the 94. decides, excuse me, Bowen decides to chop off Torres and move down. Cuts him off and takes the line, takes the spot. Bowen in second. Your winner in the 99 out of Quinn. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Eddie Ross out front. Here comes Chase Sanchez on the outside. Takes the point in the 63. Some smoke coming off of that Sanchez car. Eddie Ross second. Three wide down into turn one. Randy Bridges up to third. Rory Jordan in the seven X challenging Jared Moppin for fourth. Eddie Ross in that BD3 starting to reel in. Chase Sanchez here. Keep an eye on your lead two. Working it slowly but surely. The BD3, he's caught him. Here we go. Halfway, halfway this time by. Keeping out that BD3 down the back straight away. Here comes Eddie Ross. Sanchez on the outside. Ain't going to let him have it easy, I can tell you that. Eddie Ross on the bottom. Here he comes in the BD3. He got a new leader. Eddie Ross out of Corpus Christi. Two to go, two to go.
And your winner in the BD3 out of Corpus Christi, Eddie Ross. A couple of them got roughed up by J.C. Fitch as he put it on him and won the race. So uh, we'll see what happens tonight. Here we go. Gilbert Pettis from the pole. Oh, Pettis skates up. Witchy out front. Brianna Witchy in the 59. Here comes Pettis. Oh, look out. He tries to drive it down there. Skates up once again. The car pushes out. So on exit, when he tries to pick the throttle up, it just wants to skate the front end. The car's got a bad push from center off over there in turns one and two. He makes it work good down here, three and four. Meanwhile, Brianna Witchy doing all she can to just drive away from him. Hey, he gets through it that time nice and easy. Petty no longer out there in the 43. He's headed to the pits, I guess. Don't see him. Rihanna Witchy, she got her hand, so here comes Gilbert Petty. He's going to take the spot. New leader, Gilbert Petty, is the third in the three. Halfway. White flag, one lap. Gilbert Pitt is the third. Your winner out of Corpus Christi in the three. Gilbert Pitt is the third. Here we go. Green flag, Victor Vargas on the pole. Here comes Jared Forgy. Casey Smith quickly up to second in the three T. Georgia in that 11, Casey Smith, Victor Vargas, Mike Christian's your top four.
Kind of strung out at this point. Not a whole lot to talk about as 4G drives away from him, and then Casey Smith drives away. Only battle we got right now is her third. Mike Christian's trying to keep up with Victor Vargas here. Oh, Vargas slips up. There goes Christians to third. The 13 now up to third here. 4G continues to drive away from him in the 11. Oh, three wide as 4G puts a couple of cars lap down there in the 11. Continues to roll. Forgy really rolling here. Only four cars on the lead lap. Only four cars left on the lead lap. Victor Vargas is the last car on the lead lap. Everybody else is a lap down already. Oh, we got a fire over in the three car over turn number four. Like I said, only about four cars on the lead lap at this point.
Actually, it looks like Casey Smith took it to the pits, so there's only three cars on the lead lap. One lap left, Jared Forgy. Congratulations, uh, that should seal up a championship for you tonight. Uh, congratulations on another win. Got anything you uh, want to tell the crowd about the racetrack and the race tonight? The track's real good. Uh, fast? It's fast. Uh, I want to thank Kenny and Rachel for giving us a place to race for the whole year. Uh, it's good. I want to thank all y'all for coming out here, and uh, I'm glad I finally got this thing working again. Yeah, you've been struggling a little bit. Uh, it hadn't been your normal self in the last few races. Uh, did you do a lot of changing to get it back? Yeah, I actually got some bad parts, and it took us a little bit to find the problem, but we found it. It's good. Well, congratulations. You got any other sponsors, any other crew member you want to thank? Uh, my dad, uh, Christian and Kara, for coming out here and helping us, and uh, 2GL, uh, Rod In Supply, Penny Heavy Hall, Seven Signs, High Side Racewear, 41 Shocks. That's it. All right. Tell them what you always got to tell them. Tomorrow, Sunday, you got to go to church. There we go. Jared Forgey, your track champion in the Mod Lights. Sandoval in that seven was running third in his heat race. He broke something. Now he's starting in the back here, so it should be interesting to see how he tries to come through the field. Lewis Carden in that 8C inside the third row. Your fifth starting spot. Here we go. Oh, Sewell drives it in there. Westfall gets it in the rear of him. Side by side down the back straightaway. Here we go. Keep an eye on the 14 and the 99 as well. That's for a track championship there. Johnny Westfall, your leader down the back straightaway. Problems over here for Derek Rimmers going around. Oh, and he goes up and hits the 21G of Steve Grants. Also problems with Jacob Burnett high up in turn number three. Lewis Carden didn't get a good start. Really hurt Lynn Fox here. Westfall out front. Here comes the song. Here comes Nathan Rahi. Keep an eye on the 747, get a challenger leader. Here comes Temple trying to get around Rahi on the bottom down the back straightaway. We got a lot of racing all over the race surface right now. Westlaw continues to lead. Lynn 
Fox now worked his way. He's one spot behind Temple. With only one point separating them, whoever wins, whoever finishes ahead of the other one will win the championship, I believe. There is still a drop in this deal we got to figure out. Oh, the 44 and the 17 of Jerry Evans hard down in turn one and two there. Still rolling. Triton Tipple now up into third. Keep an eye on the 99. 99 is on the move. Triton Temple. Here comes Nathan Rahi now in the 25R. Caitlin Leonard in that 9C just passing Lynn Fox to get into sixth. Caitlin Leonard on the move. Halfway, halfway that time by on Johnny Westfall. Oh, Westfall gets up with lap traffic. Here comes the 747 on the outside. GW Son hasn't pinned down with Derek Rimmers on the bottom. Not a lot of places for Westfall to go here. More problems for Westfall as he almost goes around, keeps it rolling here. Saul now getting back around in that 38, passing Triton Temple for third. Oh, problems for Tony Blankenship down in turn one and two. Nathan Oaks taking it to the pits there. G.W. Hassong, your leader. Uh-oh, applause for Gary Bennell over there in turns one and two. Caution is out. Caution is out. We're rolling. This time, green flag. Oh, Westlaw drops at the bottom, tries to make it three wide. Losing ground there. Here comes Lynn Fox up into the top five now. Lynn Fox still out there trying to win a championship in the 14. Three wide as Westfall's beaten on the 9C there. Here comes Lynn Fox trying to get past Josh Shaw for fourth. Oh, 
second pause for Michael Pesic in the 44 as the 44 goes around. Cleared Beard in that 44 going around off in the infield. Caution it. Green flag, here we go. Oh, big crash down the back straightaway. Not good. Lewis Carden, Jamie Deer. Uh, here we go. White flag, one lap left. GW Song driving away from him. That's a pretty good race. Uh, track uh, to your liking? Yeah, it started getting slick. I wasn't prepared for that. I, took, I planned on a tacky track, so I loosened it up, but almost loosened it up too much. So. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good battle there early on. Uh, you kind of had them there in the end, but earlier it uh, looked like y'all were doing some, some good swapping spots there. It looked like a lot of fun racing. Yeah, at the beginning, I didn't think I was going to be able to win that one, but then the car came in, and so... We got better and good enough to pull it off. All right. You got anybody you want to thank? I want to thank Magnum Services and the Auto Supply and Tony Blankenship. All right. Well, congratulations. Good job. Picking up another win, GW Hassong. All right. He blinked the green at him. I think that means we're going to go right here. I'm starting to learn this sign language stuff they're doing. I'll get it figured out before the night's over. Here we go. Petty and Ellis in your front row. Ellison quickly out front here. Green in the 82, though. Keep an eye on that 82. Rick Green to the bottom of Foster Ellison down the back straight away, side by side. Here we go for the lead, folks. Rick Green to the point in the 82. Jeremy Davenport headed to the pits, and that's the car. Green out front. Ellison, Rory Jordan. BD1 trying to work his way under the Don Banker car, 377.
Here comes Jared Moppin keeping on that BD1 working his way through here. Started dead last. About to be challenging Rory Jordan for second right here. The BD1. And he drives right around in second place. BD1, Jared Moppin. Jeremy Petty soloed out over there in turn number two. He's rolling again, so he'll stay green. Halfway on Rick Green, halfway. MCA modified feature winner of the 82, Rick Green out of Bertram, Texas. First win this year here or second? That's my first one. First one this year? All right. Congratulations on that. Uh, I know you've been doing some winning over at I-37 and other tracks. Uh, what do you think about track tonight? Um, I liked it. I tried a completely new setup, and I looked pretty horrible in the heat race, but... It came around here in the feature. I made a few changes. All right. Well, congratulations. You got anybody you want to thank tonight? Yeah, Green Construction, 
Chris Carroll with Carroll Construction, BMS Race Cars, and to my family, and my wife especially. All right, congratulations, good job. Have a good night. He's slower than being reverse. All right, here we go. Oh, Johnny Torres way high, way loose. Mike Riley in the 14 to the bottom of the challenge down the back straightaway. Pesic out front in the 22P. Oh, the 14 skates up, gets hit by the truck. Still rolling, here comes Sean Klein in the 11K. Hey, we need everybody off of the fence, please. Do not stand along the fence. Pesic just driving away here with Sean Klein up to fourth now. Johnny Torres still riding in second, Mike Riley third. Truck goes around, keeps it rolling though. We're still rolling. Halfway, Michael Pesic, halfway. Sean Klein up to third, the 11K up to third.
line trying under Torres here for second. Here comes Sean Klein. Torres inches him out. Here we go. They're coming up on the truck here. Here comes Mike Riley on the inside in the 14. Coming up on just a couple to go. Great race between Torres and Clyde side by side, lap after lap. Oh, problems as Schaefer's are out over in three and four. Bringing out a first caution with just two to go. Essex still out front, nothing's changed here. Here comes Mike Riley in the 14 to challenge the 93. Gonna get the white flag, Michael Pesek this time by. Here comes the 14 to try to get third. The 14 was in third on that lap. Here comes Mike Riley to the bottom trying to take over third place and he gets it done. Down the back straightaway. Your winner, Michael Pesic. Well, what do you think? That's probably the fastest this track's been all year. All right, so you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, in the pier stock and in the street stock. All right, what did you think when uh, you realized Klein had caught you there? You might have a little three-lap shootout with him. I was down. I was going to give it everything it had, and I knew he was too. If he would have got me, he would have got me. That's a good spirit, good, good sportsmanship. Got anybody you want to thank tonight? Uh, my dad, Mickey's Auto Repair, Rock Motors. Uh, Sean, he helps me out now again. All y'all for being here, Kenny for opening the track, my kids for supporting me and everything I do. Everybody's sitting right up there below that waving right now. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. All right, congratulations. Good job. Michael Pesic, folks. Here we go. Edward Oaks on the pole. Oaks up front, Brock Bowen second, the 94 Allen Torres up to third. Here comes Bowen across the front of Oaks. Not gonna happen, Oaks still leads. Jordan in the 7X up to fourth. Eddie Ross. 
Ross up to third here in the BD3. Oh, all the toys going around. Look out. Still rolling. Then Brock Bowen parks it down in three and one and two, but still go. Eddie Ross here up to second, challenging Brock Bowen. Caution's out. Caution is out. All right, here we go, Edward Oaks. Brock Bowen right there, giving it all he's got. Eddie Ross right there as well. Here goes Eddie Ross to second. Side by side for second here. Keep an eye on the racer. Second, Eddie Ross, Brock Bowen. Here we go. Brock Bowen, your new leader here. Here comes Edward Oaks.
Reardon mopping up to third in the BD2 here. All right, come out where we Brock. Well, good race, man. Uh, looked like you and Edward had a good battle there. Uh, made a couple of pretty crazy moves there to get around him. And he got back around y'all. I like that back and forth. Good hard racing. Uh, what do you think? I thought it was good racing. Uh, Edward's always raced me clean. He's a respectable guy. And uh, I haven't came here much this year, but thank for y'all coming out to watch. And it was a good race. All right. Do you got anybody you want to thank? Uh, my dad, Chris Brown, Joey Smith, uh, Triple Cross Ranch, Fletcher Custom Engines, and Chris Brown Shocks. All right, well, congratulations. Good job. Looking forward to seeing you all out there in Hudgens Memorial. Here we go. Here we go, Gilbert Pettis. Brianna Ritchie giving it all she got here. Doing a good job right on the inside there of Gilbert Pettis hanging with him. James Jennings right there in third. J.C. Fitch turned around over in turn number four. Caution number two. Here we go again. Oh, J.C. Fitch and James Jennings get together over in turn one. Caution will come out on that one, as it should. Win it anyway. And Kylie Fitch goes around over in turn number one.
Brianna Ritchie, James Jennings, Gilbert Pettis. That three cars rolling. Let's see if he can run them down. Three laps only in this race. We got a long way to go. James Jennings in the 27 goes around. J.C. Fitch goes around. Kylie Fitch goes around. And they're all rolling again using the old infield up here. To race through the infield down into Sioux and wreck in turn number three. Halfway for Brianna Ritchie in the 59. JC Fitch going around in one and two. J.C. Fitch going around in turn number four. Brianna Ritchie continues to lead. Little G, Gilbert Pitt is trying high, trying low, doing everything he can to run her down here. Kind of looks like he's figuring it out. He started to close the gap.
Yobu Perez on the bottom, gonna give it a run for the lead here. Brianna Ritchie on the outside. She outmotors him every time down there, but he seems to get through the turn a lot better. Here comes Gilbert Perez the third in the three car. New leader. Two to go, just two laps left. Gilbert Pettis, one lap to go, right flag. He got it done, you're winner in the three, Gilbert Pettis the third. Well, uh, we don't have privilege to listen to the race receiver to understand what happened there. Uh, so maybe you could tell us, uh, was it, uh, they felt like he got on the gas a little early on the restart there? I mean, I guess, I don't know how you can jump a restart in a single file, but that's not my argument. But I thought uh, it was going to end my win streak of, but me and Brianna had a hell of a race. Cars started, I don't know about spinning the tires or losing power, but we'll get to the bottom of it. But yeah, it was a great race. I had a lot of fun. It was fun battling out with her. We touched bumpers a little bit towards there at the last lap. But hey, Rubin's racing. All right. You got anybody you want to thank? I want to thank Mission Auto Parts, R&M Insaws, Mini Me FRC, Ace Transmission, CD Electric. I want to thank Bill and, da Bill and David Steffens. I also want to thank the Mav Motorsports boys for making this car the way it is, and my dad, my mom, and everybody that's a part of this. All right, congratulations. Good job, young man.